Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mario, and as the thumbnail suggests, today I will be unboxing 7 scale figures. I acquired these scale figures throughout the month of December, and I obtained 1 from Amiami, 2 from Tokyo Taku Mode, 1 from Amazon Japan, and 3 from my local shop. I say local because I live in Texas, and an hour and a half away is still technically local. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up, it's gonna be my order from Ami Ami. This is actually the very first order I actually received from Ami Ami. Uh, I haven't really been into the figure collecting community for long. It all kind of started back in May when I went to Japan and I started buying so many price figures. And ever since then, I became obsessed with them. So I'm very excited to finally open this one. This got here like around two weeks ago and it's been just teasing me there sitting. So finally, I get to unbox it. So this figure is actually I Hoshino from Hoshinoko. So first we get our little Ami Ami card, which is two characters that appear to be OC characters. Oh, I forgot to mention, in this order, I also bought an Oshinokoro acrylic. Alright. Whoa. Alright. I was actually looking for this acrylic ending for a while because I saw it on Ami Ami not too long ago, but uh, I ended up thinking about it too much because I was kind of concerned that even a simple little thing like this was gonna increase my shipping rates. Uh, again, it was my very, it's my very first order from Ami Ami, so I'm not too familiar with how shipping rates cost and everything, so I was just very hesitant. Um, so I actually ended up adding this one after I got my invoice for the uh, iHoshino figure, and it didn't actually change my rate whatsoever, so uh, I was lucky enough that I was able to add it to my order. So let's continue with the actual figure. I'm actually surprised how big the box is. I was not expecting such a big box for such a small figure, considering it's only one cent scale. But, okay. Here we go. And there she is. So, so cute. I was so excited for this figure. I've seen a lot of very positive feedback from those who have actually received it and finally opened it, because they like said I had, I've been waiting finally open it so I could just do this video but wow she's so perfect I'm so happy for her all right let's open her up it's funny how it has a little star in there at the very top Go. Right. And here she is. She is actually wow. She actually looks bigger. She is seven scale, I believe. She almost looks one sixth. Hmm. Anyways, wow, she is so perfect. So excited for her. Oh, hi. Oh, anyway, when they do that kind of plastic thing that they put in between pieces, I'm always so nervous that I pull it incorrectly and I end up like breaking something up. That's. What is this? Oh, okay. Hmm. Something to hold the skirt in place so it doesn't bend during shipping. Okay, there's a little plastic that goes there. Okay. There she is. So let's 
so good. Wow, I'm very impressed. It's worth every penny. And it wasn't too bad actually, but I'm mistaking this one without the extra face plate ended up costing around 120 something US dollars. That's right now with the current uh, conversion rates for December. Okay, so it's just a simple one metal peg. These things always make me so nervous when I break them, especially when it's only a single one. And here she is. She is perfect. Wow, I am actually very satisfied with this figure. She's actually a lot bigger than I expected. I didn't expect her to be so big. Can't wait for next year when I receive my Ruby figure and my Kana figure. Uh, those are ouch, so those are gonna be so great alongside her. But yeah, there she is. Incredible. The dress is nice. It's kind of like a kind of like a matte satin color. While the boots, the long boots, they're kind of like a shiny, like glossy, as almost as if they were kind of like vinyl, maybe leather, leather boots. Wow. I actually wanted the one with the additional face plan. I was thinking of buying it off of MFC for somebody that didn't want it for some reason and just swapping it. But this actually looks great. This is such a good figure. All right. Well, there they are. All right, let's continue. All righty. So next up, it's gonna be my order from Amazon Japan. As you all can see, the box is in pretty rough shape so hopefully it's not broken hopefully so this I actually did end up getting this on an impulse not so much impulse because it was already on my MFC wish list however I wasn't thinking of getting these two you'll see who um, because they're actually pretty expensive I think on Amiyami is where I saw them like it was almost like $200 I want to say and only because it's actually two characters, two figures. However, I was just kind of like scrolling through Amazon Japan because uh, I've actually bought from their actual uh, storefront in Amazon US. So I actually ended up getting a very good deal on Amazon Japan. I believe uh, they were selling them for like 90 US dollars and uh, 30, like $35 shipping. Uh, so even at that, even with taxes and fees and everything, it was still a very, very good deal. And I, I just kind of had to do it. So. All right, so let's go ahead and open them up. So, so here it is. It is Furutachi Ren and Hayayoshi Akuru. I probably butchered the name. And as you can see, they come as a dual pack. So, oh wait, there's something in the back. There appears to be some sort of acrylic. I wanna say, let's see what this is. Uh, whoa, oh wow, this is so incredible, wow. I did not expect that. I didn't even know this came with it. It's a large acrylic plate of the two characters. Wow, this is gonna be so nice. This is actually gonna go next to them, of course. Wow, wow, I'm, I'm highly impressed actually. Okay, let's open this acrylic. Wow. Again, very good deal. I mean, for like a hundred and like 30 something dollars shipped with taxes and a free acrylic. I'm pretty sure the acrylic alone is probably worth like, I wanna say probably like $20 or more. But, and there it is. Uh, wow, I'm actually very happy with this. Uh, Definitely, definitely an extra little goodie in there. Like I said, very good value for my money. Okay. Seems like <laughs> they just kind of like joined them together with some uh, plastic wrap. <laughs> this is actually my first like pair 
that I buy together. So I don't know, usually that's how a lot of figures come in, that they come individual and they kind of just join them in. So you can like put them together. Oh, so yeah, this is kind of like, the boxes are kind of like independent, but then it has like kind of like a little white strap in there that says that they are a set. So I guess for those of us who actually get them together, and there it says set. Hmm. Okay, nice. There they are. All right, let's open them up. This one only appears to be a single tab. the base in half that's the thing about these kind of like a uh, pair figures they always make those kind of bases that look good whenever you pair it with uh, the part of the set but it's pretty obvious if you only want to get one figure it's pretty obvious that uh, it, it that it should belong with another one but okay and there she is this is um, Akuru Hayahoshi. So this is apparently from non. Uh, so apparently this is from an anime called the uh, Oshirabu Waifus Over Whose Bandos. I think I really don't know. Like I said, it was more of an impulse buy. I just kind of saw them and I think they were so incredible. So of course, like as of course as impulsive I am, as I am, I decided to buy them. But yeah. There she is. Wow. Well, that plastic is very, very fragile. <laughs> if it gets stuck somewhere, you're gonna break it, but how come wood, right? Okay. So let's put her up on her base. It's just a single, again, a single peg, similar to my eye. Make sure she's secure. And there she is. And she actually comes with a couple of extra things. I don't know what is in here. So it's, uh, it's an extra arm. I'm not sure what that's for. It's probably, oh, it's probably for her to hug Ren, I think. No, oh, we'll figure it out. And uh, what's this? What's this? It's a little, a little mini phone. A tiny little handheld phone. I guess so she can take a selfie with it. Or something. Do I think it goes? There you go. Yeah, that, that's gonna fall for sure. Let's see. There she is. Instructions. And, and no, no goodie. I guess this was the only one I can probably only get her in one of the figures. Probably if you order the set, I think. Or maybe they only come with her. Maybe, I don't know, but... Huh. There she is. Again, her half base. Oh, it has like some little kind of like, little square kind of like rectangle looking shapes there, like borders. I think that's what the little 
pegs are for to combine the bases. I guess, I think that's what it is, but we'll see. Um, huh. It's very strange. This one kind of feels like there's a lot more padding and protection than an Okuru. What's her name, right? Okuru? Yeah, Okuru. Yeah, this one also kind of has like a little dress, I think. To pop the head, to remove that. I'm always nervous to remove the heads. I remember which figure I once was putting together. I think it was my Megumi explosion by Eastern. And I think the head was like very stuck in there and it was making me so nervous, afraid to break it, especially Eastern figures that are so pricey. <laughs> okay, this one again, it's a single, single. Well, actually, yeah, it's two pegs, but for only one leg. And there she is. And again, it also comes with her little, like an extra arm and the little peg to put them together. Which I will do that now. There they are. Completed. They look so good. What a great buy, honestly. Like I said, for like 130 something dollars. It's actually a great pair. Wow, I actually like it a lot. And especially with the little goodies, like the acrylic and the little postcard, or whatever that card is. But yeah, all right, on to the next one. Okay, next up, it's this ginormous box. So this box is actually from Tokyo Otaku Mode. Uh, I know I did say that uh, my shipment from Amiami was one of the most, one of the ones I was the most excited about. However, these, two figures from Tokyo Otaku Mode. They are of my best girl, Mari and Kitagawa. So, they're both for Aniplex. So, let's get to it. And there are the boxes of Mari and Kitagawa, both of them from Aniplex. So, there's a funny story with this one. Actually, this figure I had actually pre-ordered a while, while back. I would say probably August. Oh, uh, so when I saw that this figure was actually out for pre-order, I went to the Aniplex USA website. Again, I haven't been in the collecting, uh, figure collecting community for that long, so I really didn't even know that I, there was an Aniplex Japan, which actually releases figures in advance ahead of the USA Aniplex. But anyways, I went to the website and it said for me to buy it directly from Aniplex, but the link was to write stuff. So as some of you might already know, write stuff got bought out by Crunchyroll. So, uh, when the figure was supposed to be released, which I believe was September the 1st, 2023, uh, I didn't get any uh, emails or anything I was already paid for, so I shouldn't have even gotten like a, uh, what's it called, a payment request. But anyways, they didn't say anything. I waited out like two weeks just to see maybe there was a quick delay. They didn't say anything. Um, so eventually I reached out to write stuff, uh, customer support, and then they told me that Crunchyroll was gonna be taking over their orders, but that, uh, that f this this order was gonna be fulfilled to later. Um, anyways, so I waited, I waited, I waited. They kept delaying it, delaying it. I kept contacting Crunchyroll support and they told me that they didn't have a date for the figure. So eventually I just got tired. Uh, I saw that Tokyo Otaku Mode had it. And so I ended up actually um, getting this one along with her since I already kind of wanted this one. So I ended up ordering both of them, Tokyo Otaku Mode and, but before I actually pre-ordered them uh, from a Tokyo Otaku mode, I did reach out to Crunchyroll, just tell them that I wasn't satisfied with the with the responses and that I wanted a refund. They were pretty nice actually. They just told me, okay, we'll process it, no problem. And I got my refund in a couple of days. And so immediately after I got the go that the, that they were gonna refund me my money, I pre-ordered these two from Tokyo Otaku mode and it was perfect. So now let's get to opening. First, let's do the Marine Kitagawa and her school uniform uh, outfit. This is, like I said, this was the one I ordered from Right Stuff that I was super excited to finally get, but unfortunately, just because of what happened with Right Stuff, I wasn't able to get it immediately, but yeah. This one actually has a heart, whereas the Oshinoko one had a star. <laughs> Funny. All right. This is just information. Japanese, which I can understand. This 
стойкости. Also, guys, if there's any feedback that you want to give me, please feel free to add it in the comments or in the community tab, which I barely kind of learned that there's a community tab in YouTube, but that's where you can get some feedback from uh, the, your viewers. So, well, my viewers. <laughs> so, anyway, feel free, feel free to give me any feedback you want, how I can improve my videos, what kind of content you want. I already know that eventually I'm going to do a room tour. I have all my display cases here with all those scale figures and price figures that I purchased. Eventually I will do a, a room tour, but that will come eventually. <laughs> I'm still kind of like playing around fixing all the lights on the detops and, and uh, that will come later. <laughs> so there's like a lot of, <laughs> that's a huge piece of plastic. And foam for the hair. Okay, just nice. More plastic on the hair. Taking her arm. Little wow, the nails. Wow, she's showing. Wow, I had heard uh, that a lot of people were saying that there were the some didn't want to get it because they were kind of hesitant due to the face. In my opinion, she actually looks great, very, very spot on. Her eyes look maybe a little kind of I don't want to say cross type, but. It might be just my imagination. I mean, I'm also, to be fair, I do wear glasses, so I'm kind of blind. But all things considered, she looks pretty good. I'll probably put it on my display case with uh, the manga cover, uh, the very first issue of the manga, which I have in actual Japanese because I, because I got it while I was in anime over there in Tokyo. So I'll probably put her next to her. So, all right, so let's put her there. It's her, her, little, her little bag little Shizuku Tan charms from that first episode in which the, the guy calls her a nerd and she gets mad but yep there's that and the base wow this is a tiny little base I swear this is one of the smallest bases I have ever seen in my life yeah I don't think I've ever seen a base this tiny but oh, it's okay that's, that's good I guess I mean she'll take up less space on the actual detail thing which with, with a simple riser it's gonna be fine, but yeah, and uh, it's in Japanese. Uh, I'm taking it that says Sonobi Stall something because I don't know the name, I always forget it. I was having a hard time in Japan asking for stuff, merchandise for my dress of darling because I didn't know the name, so I always kind of had to use Google Translate for them to help me out with it. But I guess when I was in Japan, uh, there wasn't for some reason that many merchandise on the stores, not even an animate. And I went to the one in Ikebokuro, which is supposedly the biggest one in the world. And even at that, they didn't have almost much merchandise of my dress of darling, which was crazy to me, but hey, whatever. I mean, yeah. But yeah, she is, she's actually great. I really like her. You can see her little, little earrings, all the ones that she has, and then uh, her little necklace, and even her nails, you know, you, know, you, you remember that first episode in which she's, touching gorgeous arms and you can see like her pointy nails, a little gyaru, if that's how you say it, look, a little kind of like brown loafers. Huh, I could have sworn she wore something else, but I uh, guess. So, uh, so I actually went to get some stuff that I actually had in my room that I had brought from Japan, of course, of my dress of darling. So I got it, this kind of like a folder. It's kind of like a little binder folder, like a plastic. Folder. I ended up getting this actually at uh, Narita Airport in one of those like uh, vending machines, and yeah, it was like for I think eight thousand eight hundred yen, I think I want to say, but it was a pricey vending machine. But I mean, it is, this is what you get, so I can I figured as much that it was gonna be expensive, but yeah. So this one goes with her. There you go. Oh man, I wish I would have gotten more of them. And then I ended up getting also one of those in the, probably, I don't even remember, Shinjuku Station probably, one of those vending machines, the little Kitagawa, kind of little ones that go in the Gapachan, Gakachan, I wanna say that's the name. I've totally forgot, even though I've been there like a couple months ago. But yeah, I have that one. And the manga in uh, Japanese. I don't speak Japanese and it is sealed steel. It has the animate sticker at the back. But yeah, I'm gonna put her next to her and show her on my display. So yeah, I'm excited about that. 
But yeah, let's put her to the side and let's continue with the other one. So, I knew that I already wanted to buy that one because it's the traditional one and her uh, outfit, her school outfit. However, this one, in my opinion, when I saw the pictures, I always thought this one was a lot more precise, like more close to the actually anime illustration. So, of course, I wanted to buy this one, but whenever I was gonna place my order, I had to make a decision whether I wanted to get this one that was gonna be released in September or this one that was gonna release in December. Of course, I ended up with that one, which ended up actually worse because it got delayed. And by the time December came in, I ended up, you know, falling into the pit and just ended up ordering this one alongside her. So, uh, and I actually only did it because to my knowledge, this was gonna be released in December 31st. However, I saw in uh, one of the Discord uh, uh, this servers that I followed that uh, somebody had already received her so I was super excited I didn't even know if she was released in early so that's when I actually decided to go to Tokyo Taco Mode and just I did the whole thing <laughs> but let's open them up her again three the tabs wow well, this one's actually this one's a big girl She's probably, I was gonna say she might take an entire shelf in my detox, but most likely the dress up darling is gonna get their own entire detox. I'm actually very excited as soon as so one, I remember which company announced that they were gonna be releasing a Black Lavelia eventually, which I will for sure pre-order. That's, that's gonna be an instant pre-order. I don't care the price. As long as it's, well, I do care about the price. As long as it's less than $500, then yeah, I'll still order her. I don't care, honestly, because she is just, I'm obsessed with the uh, Black Lavelia. But there she is with her little, uh, her little futon mat. I don't remember what they call it in Japan. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, I know, I know, I know I'm gonna be judged, but yes, I did watch my dress up darling dubbed. Uh, I think whenever uh, she was being, uh, when she was actually airing in Japan on Crunchyroll, I think uh, she was already dubbed in for like the first, I'm gonna say seven episodes, so I did watch them in English, and then the last, the last five, I want to see, no, four or five, I mean, I know there's 12, but I don't remember at what point they, I had to start watching in Japanese, I did, and of course I liked it, but, it's just one of those things where like, I guess for some reason, I was okay with the English translation of it, so I really didn't mind, but, but yeah, let's see, okay. So, I guess, pull this one out first. Well, that was, yeah, that was not good. It's the little mats from Gojo's room, whenever they were taking her measurements for the Shikutan cosplay. Okay. There they are, little mats. Very simple, very nice. Kind of like a grip texture to them, uh, like satin color. It's actually very nice. The texture does actually kind of resemble like bamboo. Like if you guys are familiar with like a bamboo uh, material, like straw bamboo, if you will. But yeah, they're pretty nice, actually. Wow, yeah, nice. I don't even know where those belong, but let's see a picture here. Okay. Hmm. Well, it looks like there's one in here, but okay. And then uh, next up, it's gonna be the little pillow. Oh, God, I should have gotten the instructions, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I don't see instructions. And there might be watch that they come out at the very end. But yeah, there's the little pillow. So just put it there. And her clothes. <laughs> her folded needle little clothes very neatly pulled it. There's that. And her shorts. <laughs> little jean shorts. There they are. Her little purse. It's such a nice purse, honestly. Mm. I always like this kind of like fashion of the female fashion of purses. One well, out of anyone who uses purses. Well, it's such a nice design. I really like it. Okay, and there she is. Wow, she's actually, I don't know if it's the lighting that I have here. Eh, no, nah, I was gonna say that, that she looks a little paler, but no, nah, she actually looks the same color. Wow. 
it's a lot of plastic. <laughs> Plastic over there, plastic. And there she is. Wow. And I'll do a B-roll on her close-up once she is all assembled in the in the mat. But yeah, she looks pretty nice. While the hair, like there's like hair strands underneath the hair strands, which is interesting. Because um this other one from uh and her school uniform doesn't do that. She only has like a single layer of hair, whereas this one actually has like an under layer of hair. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Wow. Yeah, happy with her. I see it's gonna be the mat. So, damn, this is a heavy one. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but I wonder if like she stays on the mat magnetizer is it just kind of like a perfect fit. I know that sometimes, like on the on the title price figure with the she's a baton um, cosplay outfit, she kind of like fits in there, but she kind of like slides out of there. So yeah. Okay, so let's see how this goes. And there she is, Marine Kitakawa by Aniplex. This one is also by Aniplex, but yeah, this one is in her bathing suit from that scene from the, I remember if it's the, I think it's the second episode, if I remember correctly, in which uh, Gojo has to take the measurements for the Shizu Baton cosplay. But yeah, there she is. She's an excellent figure as I expected. Yeah, she's very, very nice. But they, they are both of the Aniplex Marine Kitagawa's. Of course, like I said, I'm probably gonna buy every single figure that gets released. Um, well, I'm lying actually. There is a good smile company um, wearing Kitagawa figure that was already, I believe, I don't know if she's already been released. I don't remember on the release date, but it's her also on the swimsuit, just with like kind of like a ponytail. But no, nah, I'm not a fan of that one. I mean, I already have a swimsuit wearing Kitagawa one, so there's no reason for me to get a second one. I did actually, well, I'm lying because I did get actually another swimsuit, one, which is going to be released, I believe, in uh, July or August of next year, and it's going to be her in kind of like one of those pool tubes and. Uh, so yeah, I pre-ordered that one now, of course. But yeah, anyways, I did pre-order her, so we'll see her till next year. But any figure that gets announced of my dress of Donnie, most likely I will get them. I just really wish there was a, a Gojo figure, of course, because I do always, uh, of all these rom-com animes, I always get the female, but I wish I could also get the male character. But unfortunately, there's not that many for some reason. And uh, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of videos and people actually talking about this too, but why? But, but yeah.